So now God shows Zechariah another vision. Let's listen in at verses 18 to 21. Then I raised my eyes and looked, and there were four horns. And I said to the angel who talked with me, what are these? So he answered me, these are the horns that have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Then the Lord showed me four craftsmen. And I said, what are these coming to do? So he said, these are the horns that scattered Judah, so that no one could lift up his head. But the craftsmen are coming to terrify them, to cast out the horns of the nations that lifted up their horn against the land of Judah to scatter it. So the question here is, do these four horns represent four particular nations? Or does this represent totality, you know, like the four winds, like the angels holding in Revelation 7, they're holding the four cardinal points of the compass, east, west, south, north, is that what it represents? Now, since there aren't any particular uh, details given to us here about these four horns, uh, now we'll see that a lot in the book of Daniel, you know, in chapter 7 and, and, and stuff like that in Daniel, we can identify particular nations, the Medo-Persian Empire, Babylon, and so on, but here we just have these four four horns. And so uh, it, it really looks here like we're only, we're, we're meant to look at this as this is the totality of the nations who've attacked God's people. They've, the four horns, the, they're not particular nations here. They are all those who've opposed God and come up against it. And so now God is going to do something about these four horns. So God's people are in a scattered situation. The, we saw before, these powers have scattered them they are in disarray. They're not sure what to do. And so God is going to uh, bring us forward now. He's going to bring things together the way they ought to be. These powers have overstepped their authority and done wrong to God's people. What's God going to do about that? So while Zechariah is still looking, there is uh, a new element. And he sees these four craftsmen come up. He says, what are these? And the angel says, well, these are craftsmen. What are they to do? They are going to fix all the problems. They're going to restore Jerusalem. So God has a plan and work. Just as the totality of the world was against God's people now, God brings up just what's needed, these four craftsmen, to address the issues of the four horns. Coming at God's people from every side, what does God do? God is going to address the problems that are coming on every side. Every scattering element is going to be confronted by, a, by each of those repairing elements. And you and I, we want to make sure we're part of the repairing elements. All the forces that array themselves against God and his people will be countered. And so God sends some forces to help. It's time to rebuild, and God sends what's needed. God puts a limit on everything. Things are limited. They only go as far as God allows. After that, there's, they stop. So there's more to come. God's going to send more pictures to strengthen Zechariah and the leaders. But he sets the limits. He sets the boundaries. When he calls for fog, there's fog. So, so God will work his ways out, and there's more to come. Mm -hmm.